we have four club officers attend each of these two trainings, then we receive one more point. Our final point is to submit our reports and membership dues on time. It's an easy way to achieve a point for us, and we've done that every year. <laughs> Moving right along. Once we achieve these goals, we become... So, for example, if a club achieves five out of the ten goals, they're considered distinguished. When a club achieves seven out of ten goals, we become select distinguished. And when a club achieves nine out of these ten goals, they become presidents distinguished. So I have the pleasure of announcing that we have the audacity to, <laughs> for over a decade, become presidents distinguished year after year after year, and we achieved it last year, we will do it again this year. <laughs> so the Distinguished Club Program and Club Success Plan explains our goals, our rules, and the Club Success Plan. The Club Success Plan is something that is done with the executive team. Everyone that's on the executive here, please put your hand up. Great, so we have a fantastic, fun team aboard that will help accomplish our, these goals that we have throughout the year. So the plan consists of these 10 goals. We will have an executive meeting on this subject and brainstorm as to how we can determine we can achieve these 10 goals. We may have the opportunity to set additional goals for our club. We'll outline strategies for achieving these goals. Identify resources that we can use. For example, Meetup, renewing our membership for Meetup different avenues that we can achieve our, our goals for this year as a club. And we also have space to write in additional assignments, develop a timetable, and track <coughs> our accomplishments throughout the year. So you're probably wondering, so what's in it for me when our club achieves presence distinguished? Well, a healthy club really means healthy members, and this includes each and every one of us here today. I love, I love this program because we have the ability to be a part of something bigger than us. We can be a part of this by helping our club to gain, grow in membership, finding new members. We currently know at least 250 people. And we will continue to meet new people throughout the next year. So when the opportunity arises, where we're given a compliment on our presence and our the way we speak, use that to invite people to come into our club and see for themselves what Toastmasters is all about and join us. We can help our club also by achieving our educational awards. So Michelle and I are co-chairs of the VP of Education role and we are here to help you achieve these education goals. I have a small handout that Michelle will help me at this point pass around to each and every one of us. If you would take a minute, please and fill out your name on the top of the form. And we'll go over this really quickly. Right now, it's super easy to fill out and we can collect these at the end of the meeting. <coughs> Key questions that I'd like to have is when... I'll take a moment and just wait until we have that passed around. Do we need any extras? Two more. Two more. Thanks. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, man. Thank you. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> so again, please pull up, fill out your name so we know who we are working with in helping you achieve your goals. Do you plan to complete your competent communication manual by June, June, sorry, June 30th, 2015, and your leadership manual? And are there any other manuals that you're currently working on to complete by the end of the year? Are you available to be a mentor to anyone new in our, that joins in the next year? And are you interested in becoming part of our executive? I'll share a little story for that. It ties in with my acceptance speech for my Toastmaster of the Year award. It, I didn't. I, for me personally, I didn't quite 
understand the Toastmaster experience until I joined the executive. And that's when my speaking and leadership truly grew to a whole new level. So if anyone is interested in growing themselves as a person, as a, as a, as a fellow Toastmaster and a leader in our, in our community and the club, I highly encourage you to join as a club officer. If we were to have mini eds in the future, what subject would you like to have us speak on? And if there are any other goals and objectives that you have in Toastmaster that we can help you fulfill, let us know. For example, I want to learn more how to memorize my speeches better and feel comfortable with my body language while speaking. And so let us know what roles we can schedule in if you have uh, them on the top of your head or in your competent leadership manual, what roles you'd like us to fill you in for so that we can help you complete your manuals. I mentioned being trained as a club officer, submitting a club officer list by the Toastmasters deadline is uh, the next two ways that we can help our club to achieve our 10 points. Really though, becoming a dis presence distinguished club has its benefits. New members bring in new ideas, new personalities, we improve our speaking skills, and we improve our leadership skills, and we help our club stay on track to become presence distinguished another year in a row. With that, I turn our meeting back over to our postmaster.